Greetings all, Devious Monkey here. I have been out filming because it's, at least in theory, a gorgeous day out. The problem is this weekend and for the coming week, now apparently it is not going to rain, but it is going to be back to the old hideously oppressive humidity and heat. So it's gonna go back into the 90s and it's already so humid that anytime I get out of the Forerunner with the gear, I have to wait five minutes for the condensation to clear because you know it, it's just it's so humid out it's disgusting that also brings about bugs the freaking bugs i hate bugs and i was just in another park a ways from here because i haven't been there in like over a year and i thought eh, let's do something different so i went there and i was trying to walk through the trails to get back to some more interesting spots to film and and i was just I was just getting bombed. I mean, bugs were flying in my fucking ear, uh, hitting me in the head. There were spider webs all over me, and it, it was just incredibly annoying. So I'm going to have a lot of editing to do because I, I'm, I, have, I have so many fit motions and, and, and a lot of swear words uh, to get rid of. Goddamn bugs. Motherfucker. At least I had fun, and some of the scenery was gorgeous, and I have a feeling that it's going to look fantastic on the monitor here. The 4K footage, blah, blah, blah. I have continued the building of, of my rig. Yesterday, I got nothing. <laughs> nothing came in yesterday, as I had hoped. The two handles are the last two pieces of the way that I had envisioned setting this up. And they were supposed to be delivered today. And in fact, they did attempt delivery today, but it's a Sunday, the UPS store is closed. So that means I have to wait until tomorrow for them to reattempt delivery to get those two handles. And then that's it for what I thought was going to be my rig. The more I look into it though, and, and the more I use this equipment, the more I see that shooting with this Atomos Ninja V and shooting in 4K on this Sony a6600, I am chewing through batteries. I'm really shocked about how quickly I'm going through the Sony batteries. I'm really wearing those down. It's not a viable solution. Now granted, well, I have a lot of batteries because that that Z battery, whatever, was the same battery that, that worked in the A7 III. So I had already started collecting those. Now, what I'm doing is I'm using all of the actual Sony batteries for this A6600, and then I'm using the aftermarket RAV4, or RAV4, Jesus, uh, RAV power batteries that I got. A7 III didn't come with a charger, lame. So I got an aftermarket charger a dual battery charger and it came with two batteries so i'm using those two rav power batteries in the grip for my a7 III because they work just fine and i don't use that a7 III nearly as much as i use this a6600 and i wanted wanted to keep uh the actual sony batteries in here because at one time i tried to put a rav power battery in here and it rejected it so i usually tend to not get aftermarket batteries anymore I suck it up and just pay for the expensive batteries because there's no point in getting a battery that's half price to find out that it, it won't be accepted by the system that you're trying to use it for. This is all leading me to the fact that, that as I continue to watch dozens of videos and learn more about all this equipment and what I'm capable of doing, the more I'm starting to go back to way back to when I was in Chicago and I first started doing this, you know, 10 years ago, and I was trying to build all these cinema rigs but of course, I was, you know, these big shoulder rigs, and, and I was trying to, to get, uh, this was before gimbals, so I was, I was using the, the handheld, you know, like Devon Supertramp gimbals and, and all those crazy things. But I did want to build a cinema-type rig that had like a cage and rails and this, that, and the other thing. And I've come to the conclusion that that's kind of what I need to do with this. This is very awkward to use, and I was using it today and finding that without those two handles, it really is difficult to hold this and maneuver and all that kind of stuff. The top handle's great, and I've been using this mini small rig tripod 
and just sort of squishing the legs together and moving it off to the side and kind of holding it and, and that helped but it's it's not a viable solution it, it's a temporary fix you know i need those handles once i get that really what it gets down to is power and and that's something that that i have known from the get-go when i started buying all this stuff the batteries that you get are only going to take you so far and i just like with my a7r2 i don't want to walk around with 10 different batteries so that has led me to yes the v-mount battery solution and i have spent the last two or three days watching a ton of videos and looking what people have have said and looking at all the different systems out there because there's so many different kinds it's an additional by the time you get through with taxes and stuff it's probably an additional 700 dollars, which is crazy you know you have to have you have to have the mount you have to have the actual v mount battery cage or, or plate or whatever you got to have rails then you have to have the cables that will work with the battery or with you know with the camera and the atomos and on and on and on so there's a lot of shit that you got and the batteries aren't cheap and i have a feeling that if i tried to go a more budget route that again you get what you pay for so I would get batteries that are not not necessarily half price, but okay, let's just say half price. And I have a feeling that they won't last nearly as long and they won't be nearly as efficient or as, as compact. So I've been looking at various systems and again, that's about 700 bucks. So I'm gonna have to look into all that because I'm not dropping 700 bucks right now, but in the future, it will definitely be nice to have. Otherwise, it, it's been kind of a lazy weekend. It torrentially poured yesterday for a while and then it didn't, and, but it was so disgustingly humid that I, I couldn't, like any time I got out of the truck, it was, just, it was just too much. So I decided not to post a video yesterday and, and just sort of relax and continue with my education on all this stuff. So I'm sitting here, three ships is right over there. I'm gonna get some bean and go home and start my Sunday routine, which is laundry and, and my office day where I get prepped for the week. So I, I don't have a lot of work to do because I've already done it all and I can just start up tomorrow, but I do have stuff that I need to do online. Oh, uh, that was the other thing is that because the heat climbed and, and the humidity, which makes it pretty bad, the office was so hot yesterday that it was actually making me sick. And it's been two weeks now since I called my HVAC guy. So he either forgot about me or he's just that busy. And now I'm coming up on like the worst week that we've had in, in the past few. So I'm gonna have to call him tomorrow and, and get on his ass about getting over here and trying to find me a solution. That's really all I've got. Just sort of finishing up on this build. Once I get those handles tomorrow, then I plan on shooting the video that shows you my entire setup and how I have it all together and how I'm using it. and you know going in depth on that and then you know I will continue to learn and see if maybe I, I don't have to spend $700 to get this this all put together I mean the bulk of that is the battery I mean the, the battery itself is 250 all right that's all I got for you I want to go get my bean as always thanks for joining me like subscribe and all that shit and remember kids forward and up